In the absence of any complete picture of the sisters' apartments, the museum approached Maryland University to try and put the pieces together. So the first thing we had to do was find the original floor plans. Yeah. A graduate student of ours found the original architectural drawings. We ended up figuring out which of the two apartments. Yeah. Now these are their apartments. Right. So this is all of Edda's coming down here, yeah. and this is all Clarabelle's. Yeah. So we could figure out what was a living room, obviously, what was a kitchen, and then at that point we had to go through all the photographs. And this was the fun part in some ways. Here is a picture of the blue nude, yeah. and there was no information as to what room it was in. And here's the pink nude over here. But if you look at the trunk, see the, the front of the trunk here? Yeah. And you look over here? All right. It's the same yes. room. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you begin mm. to figure out that they're actually facing each other. Which is quite a startling revelation when right, you put them all together, that these two Victorian ladies lived with the nudes on either wall in right, the same Right, both room. sides facing each other. Yeah. That's incredible. And look at all the boxes. They just had lots of um, boxes full of textiles and full of postcards. Yeah, they collected yeah. an immense amount of stuff. Yeah. Uh, some person said they stored paintings under the bathtub. Mm, yeah. There's one, we put one person in. Here's the uh, picture of Matisse when he... Look dapper, doesn't he? Look dapper, doesn't he? <laughs> very dapper, the three-piece we had, we, suit. We, we had to add legs to him. That was a, a oh, student right. working for us yeah. at the, yes. the pants because he came to pay respects to um, Etta after Clarabelle died. Yeah. And so when we did the uh, virtual reconstruction, mm. he's the one individual. We very, didn't have any. Very pictures. interesting to know whether he chose the two paintings he stood in front of, you know, as ones he wanted to be seen against. Well, he's in, the, he's in the dining room here, yeah. and everyone says that uh, everyone shared their meals in Etta's dining room. Mm. Her apartment was really where they lived. Yeah. Clarabelle's, even when Clarabelle was alive, it was more of a um, museum, mm. a place to look at work. She had another apartment that no one knows about mm. where she lived. Let's head out into the living yeah. room here. See why Matisse liked coming here because his paintings are so well displayed that they take up the whole place. It is the mixture so of everything, sort of richness of, of the way everything sort of combines to give you that feeling you never get from those black and white photos. Yes. It was it was all around you, you know, and uh, it is a wonderful sort of artistic roller coaster. Oh yeah. In well, the bathroom. I'd like to see in the bathroom. Do you want to go in the bathroom now? Yeah, yeah. Let's yes, go out to the okay. hallway and we'll okay. walk into the bathroom from there. This I'm is fine. over on Clarabelle's side. We'll I spin know around. they kept paintings in every single this room. This is a, a surprise to see. Yeah. And again, very sort of strong, vivid, sensual pictures. Oh, wow, this is wonderful. <laughs> so what have we got here? We've got... Um, this looks like a That's very, Renoir, very suitable for a bathroom, isn't it? Which is, uh, again, a just Jacques Beyond. Like a short of a towel, Beyond after Renoir. She must have put all her sort of uh, in the school of paintings here. Yeah, not, yeah. Not, not, not One thing that was interesting, one. though, that amongst these to find yeah. in was a by? watercolor. Oh, by, by Clarabelle Cohn. So she, this is the yes. one place in the, all of the apartments that we found that's a, the only uh, one of hers. a work by her. Do you think there's a whole stock of her work that's not yet been seen? I mean, it's not bad in its way. So let's see what's down here, lavatory by, unsigned. Shouldn't be looking at that, <laughs> you know, Clarabelle's throne. <laughs> the only things missing from the virtual tour were Clarabelle and Etta. Their nephew, Ed Cohn, knew both women personally. 